It was getting late on All Hallows' Eve as dark clouds rolled over the sky. The rain pelted down and the lightning flashed. Trick-or-treaters did shriek out and cry. At the end of a street in a small rural town was an ancient and broken-down home. There lived a lady all crooked and old, her dog the only reason she wasn't alone. Local kids would tell tales about her life and the son she had given away, who was entirely wicked right to his core, a psychiatric patient still to this day. The clock in the hall struck the hour of ten, so she made her way up to bed. She didn't notice the shadow at the window or what the newspaper on the table said. Painfully, she dragged her frail body upstairs, her loyal terrier following right behind. Unaware of the escape from a local institution, a psychopath with revenge on his mind. Soon she was curled up trying to ignore the weather, with blankets wrapped all around, and lying on the floor next to her bed fast asleep was her faithful hound. Lightning blazed and thunder boomed and the bedroom windows did shake. The old woman was ripped from her dreams feeling she was in the midst of an earthquake. Her pulse was racing as she put down her hand to where her old dog always lay. She felt his fur and the dog felt its master and licked her hand to say it's okay. The storm raged on with more intensity still, crashing and banging from everywhere. But did she now hear something else? Had there been a creaking from the stair? Once again the fear gripped her insides and she sought out her furry friend on the floor. As always he gave her a calming lick and her panic became less than before. She drifted off to sleep again, using both her pillows to cover her ears, safe in the knowledge her canine pal would protect her from her deepest fears. The storm continued with lashing rain and she woke to a dripping sound. It's just a leak, she thought to herself as she sought the warm lick from her hound. At midnight she woke one more time. Was that someone closing the back door? She thrust out her hand from under the sheets, seeking reassurance from the dog on the floor. But this time something wasn't right. There was no lick from the dog saying, I'm here. The dripping continued as she called out his name, feeling an overwhelming and rising fear. Blindly she grasped for the bedside lamp. Where's the damn light? Find it she must. And as the bulb flickered slowly to life, her eyes sluggishly began to adjust. What she saw, she will never forget. Those images will haunt her forever. Her only friend soaking in his own blood. The sort of horror that should be witnessed never. And on the mirror, in a bloody message, written by the boy she once knew, was the revenge he plotted for many years. Humans can lick hands too.